and welcome to the super fun awesome happy time pedal and amplitude plug-in show my name is Gabor and today I'm looking at this so this is the triple crown um, part of the official Mesa Boogie 2 pack in amplitude 5 which was released late 2021 I believe around about Christmas 2021 uh, I've done a couple of other videos one of them is here with the Mesa Boogie pack uh, and right at the end, or down in the description below, a, a link to the whole playlist of all the Amplitube stuff. I've done tons of videos with Amplitube. Uh, should also mention this was supplied by Amplitube. So IK Multimedia sent me a full version, basically, um, of Amplitube 5. Uh, and all I've got access to everything on there, basically, which also... Uh, I should mention, if there's anything in particular you want me to do in Amplitube 5, like any of these amps, and there's tons of them, you want to check out or any of the speakers or any of the pedals or whatever is in there let me know in the comments below or anything IK Multimedia software related anyway uh, and I'll do my best to check it out so for this video what I thought because it's a bit of a sort of a slightly angrier amp um, even though the cleans are really nice I thought I'd use a more kind of less poorly kind of LP style amp guitar I mean uh, this particular guitar is my 1978 Greco so uh, Japanese made in 1978, uh, old LP copy. There was a bit of a fixer upper and I put some fantastic Fishman Fluence classic humbuckers in it. Big thank you to Ken Susie and everyone at Fishman for sending these out to me. Now I've got this guitar going via the red cable straight into my RK Multimedia Axe IO solo interface in front of me. From that straight into Logic. And if I just play an E chord with the plugin turned off. So this is just a straight clean signal. <laughs> which is very sort of meh. Now I'm on the, I decided to go, I'll start with the clean channel and work my way up to the dirtier channels. I just decided to start on a triple strum preset. What I usually also do is I just turn the volume down a little bit. It's just the way it's set up for me that uh, I guess I could turn these things down, but I'm not. So it's, I'll just do it like that. It makes no difference. Uh, if I turn it on now, it's on that preset and it sounds like this. <laughs> with nice reverb there too. So it's a lovely clean sound you can get out of it too, but we'll get into the other channels in a second. Let's have a quick look at the at the panel, right? The layout. So basically you've got those three channels, right? So that's your clean channel, medium drive channel, high gain channel, and then you've got sort of the global controls. Uh, you've got your, you plug a cable into here, you've got the three channels here to switch. So you've got clean channel with the green lights, you go to the low gain or medium gain channel with the blue light and high gain channel with the red light. Now each channel has a bass, mids and treble control down the bottom. Uh, each channel has a master and a gain and a presence up the top as well. Uh, then the clean channel has a little switch that goes between normal and drive and the two drive channels have a switch that goes between normal and tight. Uh, each channel also has a power soak where you can go from 100 to 50 to 20 to 7 to 3 watts. Um, which gives you slightly different playing dynamics and all that sort of stuff and it's on a channel by channel basis as well uh, Then over here you have your on-off switch You have the little green light that tells you the reverb is on you have the overall kind of master output uh, You have a solo control and there's a little light below too for solo Which if you click on that where it says back you go to the back and here you have a switch for solo So basically it's a solo boost and on the front here, you can select how much solo boost you want. And on the back here, you turn it on and off, which I guess it's on the back on the amp as well, which is for switchable. You have the reverb switch on and off. You go to, uh, see the lights off now, if you turn that on and if you turn that on, you have that light and a solo light on. Um, let's leave a reverb on. You have a control for the clean channel, the medium gain or low gain and high gain channel for how much reverb you want. You can also change your power amp tubes from EL6 or six, uh, from 6 or 6s to EL34s. And most importantly, you've got little fuse here, which is always, you know, if something happens, that's the first thing you should check. Now, let's start off just, let's check out the clean channel basically. Oh, and I'm going in this, again, the preset is just going into the Road King Vintage 4x12 cabinet. And we're mic'd with a condenser 87 and a condenser 414. That's just a preset. We'll muck around with that later on. 
Um, but so this is the preset sound again, which sounds like this. So let's, for example, let's just start off. Let's do a bit more gain. So that kind of ACDC kind of level gain the first channel on the normal. You can go to drive. Very dynamic. Um, if we turn it down a little bit. If you play light, it's clean. Uh, now, also, actually, it's for while I'm on a clean channel, let's go relatively clean. Let's quickly check out the reverb. So that's the reverb. Let's go at half. It's got a bit of springiness to it. Sort of reverb down a little bit more. Let's while I'm in the back, quickly check out 606 versus EL34s in a clean. Mm -hmm. 34s have that little fizziness on top. I probably prefer the 606s. Um, actually, while I'm here too, let's quickly check out the solo boost. Mm -hmm. So adds a little bit of gain, maybe a bit of fizziness. Let's crank it. I don't know if it's just volume, it may have a little bit of gain in it. I'm not sure, it could just be pushing the front of it. Uh, okay, well, let's leave it like that in the back for now. I quite like that. Let's check out the power soaks. If I go all the way up to 100 watts, it's much louder. So let's turn the master. Oh, actually, let's turn the output down. Let's keep the master radius. does change a bit actually because if you go down to the lower wattage with the output up the field changes compresses a bit um, so if you want it less compressed go up to the high wattage and then if you want more compression uh, like feel the feel of more compression because I guess you've got to compensate with volume Actually, it's got a bit of bit of grit to it. Let's try that with the normal channel. I quite like that as a clean channel, for example. I like that. 
Okay, that's a clean channel. Next, low gain channel. Uh, so again, you've got the power soak thingy going on here. Let's give it, let's crank the gain. That's what's good. And tight, I'm guessing we'll get rid of some bottom end. Yeah, it gets rid of the bottom end. So if you want more, it's all in the name. If you want it tighter, so with this, now let's try. Let's get a hundred watts. It's less tight, yeah, because you're cranking the master, so the power in tubes are more used. So yeah, so you can get slightly different sounds there. I'll probably. That sounds really good, actually. Uh, let's see with the gain down a bit more. Let's travel. Now with that, let's check out 6L6s versus EL34s. slightly less fizzy with the 6L6s. I prefer the 6L6s yet again. I think that's a really cool sounding. That's a good sounding channel. Let's give it a bit more reverb, see what it sounds like. So that... if you want lots maybe for that channel just a little bit and then let's try to solo boost too so that gives a lot of volume in that I like that okay low gain channel let's go to the high gain channel much thicker, much more saturated. Lots of bottom end there, even with the tight switch. Sounds really Thank you. 
Solar boost. There's a lot there. So, I mean, you, you don't have to have it quite. I just wanted it up so you can really hear it. But. really good actually I quite I really like that um, so that's the through let's let's say that's my three channel let's try I, I, I tried that already haven't I? and let's bring that right down let's try that just on the yeah it changes the feel a bit and maybe the sound a bit as well I think that channel I like best on 100 watts with the master down So I've got my clean channel. That's a lovely sound and clean channel. Medium gain or low gain channel. That doesn't remember. Hang on. So that's that's global, isn't it? So if I go to that now, if I go to the, that's still going to be on the same. Yeah. So it doesn't remember it on a channel-by-channel -channel basis. But I think that's three really good sounding channels. I mean, from a clean... ...to low gain overdrive to... ...to a high gain. Uh, now let's have a quick look at the, at the cabinet and just change a few things and see what happens. So we're in a garage looking thing. You could go and make it really tight in the end closet. I always find some room ambience sounds always sounds good to me because it's um, even a bit more. To me, that just, if you get rid of that. It gives it life. So I quite, let's just go small studio. Let's, let's even try mid, stu, mid studio. Oh, I quite like the small studio. Just a bit of ambiance. Uh, all right, let's try it. So maybe instead of a 414, let's put a 57. There. Fizzy there. That's, that's really good, actually. That sounds great. Let's try, I don't know, 421. Uh, 
condenser? I don't know. Let's go bottle one. <laughs> Some are close, but out of the fizz. Too much fizz. Still a bit of fizz. Let's try the other one. Let's do the traditional thing. 21, 21. I think that sounds really good. I'm going to leave that. Uh, you could, I mean, we could now muck about with it and uh, change, I mean, even the speakers in that. What speakers are in that? They are all the Brit V1 speakers. Let's try Boogie Collection. Let's try different. Forward of Recto Traditional Slants. Very different sounding. So that's from the Mesa Boogie 1 section. Let's try. So, what, which one was that? Was the, that one was the one we had. Oh no, this is the one, the Road King Black. Sounds really good. Road King Vintage. I don't know which one I like better. Vintage. Let's try the 2 by 12. Now I think the Road King Vintage is the one I like better. I think that sounds really good. Uh, now let's add to that, why not? Uh, uh, type, we want... Uh, well, let's add a tube screamer in front of that. Isn't that the usual thing? What you got? To... We'll turn that down. Turn the tone down a bit, and just crank the level. It sounds great, but that tightens it up even more. Let's try to tube, that kind of tube screaming thing, but let's go to the medium gain set. Let's try that on the clean channel. What does that sound like? It's a bit dark for the clean channel, maybe. Let's give a little bit of overdrive to, no, oh, come on. I think that sounds really 
cool. Uh, and I mean, then sky's the limit, you know, you can add some, I don't know, let's add some, uh, delay. Let's add a, I don't know, digital delay afterwards. <laughs> stereo image and then let's go to the high gain channel Stereo delay sounds killer. Uh, I like this amp. Uh, I think it sounds really good. I really do think the whole Mesa Boogie 2 collection sounds great. I'm a fan. Um, so that was sort of a quick look at the Triple Crown. Uh, like I mentioned earlier on in the video, if there's anything in particular you want me to check out, or I don't know, put this with some particular speaker cabinet or any particular pedals or, you know, mixed up with, an, uh, with another amp, you know, we have multiple amps stacked together. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, big thank you once again to the awesome people at IK Multimedia for sending this to me. And big thank you to all you people for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you like what we do so you, you know, you see more of our videos. So on that note, thank you so much and see you next time. Bye.